Uh, folks, I try not to dwell on politics, political stuff on my channel. And maybe I'll say that before I start this video. Uh, Politics and religion, I just don't like to touch it because, I mean, for an example, if I was to say I'm a Catholic and I don't like Baptist or I don't like Methodist, something like that, then I, what will happen, a lot of my subscribers are that. So you don't offend them. So I, that's why I don't touch politics and religion. I mean, if I come down as a Republican or a Democrat, I'm gonna lose about half of my subscribe. Well, I, I don't know if I would lose them or not. Depends on how they are about that stuff. But this day and time, I'm not touching it. Uh, there's no need to. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what political affiliation you are. If you're an American, you live in this country, it is your right to believe whatever you want to believe. And I'm not supposed to fault you either way about it. It's just, but people's not like, a lot of people's not like that anymore. Uh, I would love to wear t-shirts with different things on it, but I'm afraid to because I'm afraid I'm going to offend somebody. And I, uh, I've i been doing YouTube for, since 2017 and it's been a hard struggle to get enough subscribers to where I can get monetized. And I am not gonna let things such as religion and politics cause me to, and I've already lost a couple of people over politics because it's people that know what my political affiliation is and they know who I voted for for president and didn't vote for. And I lost, I lost some subscribers and one of those been a friend ever since well, him and his family has been a friend of mine, they're German, since 1959. And he dumped me in a heart. I made a mistake. He asked me who I was voting for. And that's when he dropped me. And I had another person do about the same thing. So, uh, no, it ain't worth it. I'll tell you, like my neighbor told me the last time I asked him who he's voting for, he told me it wasn't none of my damn business. So, yes, sir, you're right, Mickey, it was none of my business. Sorry I asked, my friend, you're still my friend. <laughs> and I don't know who he voted for, don't really care. I was just standing out there one day, decided we, I want to talk about politics, and I learned right quick. It's nobody's business but mine. And I'm not putting no signs in my yard, I'm not wearing no t-shirts, no hats, nothing. Now, if I ever got a chance to meet some people that I voted for, I would love to meet them. As long as it wouldn't be public. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if you consider what this, this, this channel's about that stimulus check, so I don't know if that's considered political or not. But, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I want people to watch my channel because they enjoy it, and I like for them to watch the live stream, live stream, because we, I have a good time when I do the live streams. So, watch the video. Tell me what you think.
Okay. Coffee. About this stimulus package, this fourteen hundred dollar stimulus package, I still got people telling me I can get it. Well, I've explained to you in past videos. I'll explain it again. Now, I've got a clip I'm going to play for you that I caught on some news. Uh, and I'm going to play that clip first. Right after this. That shows you what I'm talking about. I think I, I may misunderstand it again. I, all I know is I'm not getting any money, folks. Never have got any stimulus money. And don't expect I ever will. Boy, if I could get that $1,400, I would think I was pooping in high cotton. I want to say shitting in high cotton, but I ain't going to say, well, Jerry went and said it again. Anyway, you get my drift. The third round of stimulus checks is expected to start going out as early as this weekend, but some people who are eligible to see the $1,400 payment may not actually get the money. That's because this bill passed with what's called budget reconciliation. It allowed Democrats to speed up the process and pass the bill with no Republican votes. But there were some major changes required. News 4 Jacks reporter Eric Avenier joins us live to explain the cost and what it means to you. Eric. Yes, well, unlike the first two stimulus bills that offered debt prote uh, protection from debt collectors, this third bill does not. That means that $1,400 stimulus check that you may qualify for may still be up for garnishment if you owe a debt. Let's face it, we all either owe someone money or know someone experiencing hard times and are deep in debt, which is why this third round of stimulus checks are critical. But financial advisor Mike Ellis says qualifying to receive a $1,400 stimulus check doesn't mean you will actually see it. Those private businesses and things that you might owe money to have the ability to garnish that amount when it hits your bank account. To be clear, stimulus check garnishments only apply to people whose debts have gone into collections, and those collections only pertain to private businesses or credit card companies. The last two stimulus checks were protected from garnishments because lawmakers on both sides of the aisle passed stimulus bills without objections, which allowed for a debt protection policy to be in place. But in this third bill, Democrats wanted more relief money, and the only way to pass the bill with only 50 votes and no obstruction was to use what's called budget reconciliation. But it also made it subject to certain things that can't be included, like a policy protection. Like Around Jacksonville, people who are just learning about this loophole in the stimulus bill are not happy about it. So I don't think that it's a fair um, way to, you know, for the collections agencies to make money just because someone may have owed a debt. The debt may have been owed due to, um, you know, loss of a job or a furlough. I think the American people should have the choice of what to do with that money, right? If, if there are creditors, people that they owe, they should be able to make that decision on, on who to pay. Ellis says if you have accounts that are in collections, the best thing to do right now is to call the collection agency in advance. Let them know, hey, I'm, I'm in a need here. Please work with me so that you don't garnish what's deposited in my account. Now, to be clear one more time, uh, the stimulus check garnishments do not apply to people, and I repeat, do not, reply, do not apply to people who owe money to the government. Coming up at 11, we get answers uh, for the three frequently asked questions about stimulus checks. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station. So, Eric, how would the garnishment process work? So this is how it would work. Collection agencies would have a list of names of people who are very far behind on debts that they owe. And they would simply just pass that list off or send that list to, uh, to the courts uh, so that a judge was signed off on that. And, and once it's signed off, then they 
basically have uh, access to your money. But again, they can only get the $1,400 that you would have gotten. Uh, they can't get a penny more. All right, Eric Avignet reporting to us live. Thank you, Eric. Oh, uh, you know, while I'm at it, I like to remind everybody that don't forget my live streams. I have every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And sometimes I like to do live streams in the middle of the night when I'm not being able to sleep. And it seems like no matter what time of the day or night that I do a live stream, there's always some of my subscribers up and about, and some of them are night owls. Uh, so keep that in mind and subscribe, and you'll get notifications when I do those lives, you know, that, that are you know, off the cuff stuff. And we just talk about anything and everything and um, about what it's like to be 80 years old and not knowing if I have another tomorrow or not. And hopefully I do. I'd like to make it to 100 where I could see all my grandbabies and I only got three. I'd like to see all of them grown up and doing their thing and making their way in life. But yeah, this COVID thing, I, I can't figure nothing out about these stimuluses. If people saying I should get it, and, and I know I haven't gotten it, hadn't ever got it. Uh, but yeah, tune in on my lives on Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm probably going to set a day during the week that I'm going to do a live about the same time, 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. Um, just did my live today, today's Saturday. Uh, and I noticed a couple of my subscribers that's usually there, Manuela, she wasn't there, and she's one of my favorite. But they're all favorite for me. I don't have any. I, well, I, I got some that I'm really, really close to. And y'all know who you are. <laughs> um, all right, I guess. Yeah, look at this thing. Tell me what you think, you know, and whether it's, whether I'm missing something or whatever, you know. I surely wish I could get it. I only have $750 a month. Well, actually, I only have $100 a month because that 700 or 650 has to go to, to, um, my daughter for my my rent and upkeep. I'd be up the creek without my daughter. No way I can make it on seven hundred and fifty dollars a month. But that's my fault. My bed. I made my bed and I'm having to lay in it. I don't blame nobody. I don't blame the government. If it's anybody's fault, it's my fault. And I know exactly where I went wrong. I'll maybe I'll talk about that again someday. But yeah, I made my bed. It's not comfortable. But I'm here. <laughs> All right. Catch you in the next video, guys and girls and boys and girls and ladies. I love all my subscribers. Especially the ones that <clears throat> that keep up with me every week. And y'all know who y'all are. See you in the next one. <clears throat> Alright folks. You've seen the you seen the clip. 
you be the judge. I, I still say I'm not getting anything. I don't know. They can. They say now that what people couldn't garnish you in the first two, they can garnish you this in the second two. Well, I got news for you. I didn't get it. But you've seen the video. Give me some comments. Tell me what you think. I'm just not getting it. You know, I had that deal with FEMA in 2004-2005 about we claim damages in the hurricane and they sent us a little over five thousand dollars then about two or three weeks later they sent us another twenty uh tw almost twenty one thousand dollars and then a year later they sent us a letter and said hey we overpaid you and you need to refund to us one thousand and fifty eight dollars or ten thousand and fifty eight dollars it have been one thousand fifty eight dollars i'd probably paid it but they said ten thousand and fifty eight dollars we couldn't do it so uh as a result it well, i just left it didn't think no more about it about a year ago they hit me up on my social security for uh, $53 a month coming out of my Social Security. They couldn't take no more than that because it would have knocked me down below $750 a month that I was getting. So they took, I was getting, I had eight, it was 808 what I was getting, and then they started taking 53, so I get $750 a month. Now, when all this COVID stuff come up and the, and the stimulus things and everything, I never got any of it. So I'm assuming FEMA is taking it. I never got any of it. And I don't think I'll get this 1400. You be the uh, comments, please. Let me know what you think. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, tell me what you think. I... <clears throat> All right, folks. You've seen the you seen the clip. You be the judge. I I still say I'm not getting anything. I don't know if they can they say now that what people couldn't garnish you in the first two, they can garnish you this in the second two. Well I got news for you, I didn't get it. But you've seen the video. Give me some comments. Tell me what you think. I'm just not getting and you know I had that deal with FEMA in 2004 2005 about we claim damages in the hurricane and they sent us a little over five thousand dollars then about two or three weeks later they sent us another twenty uh tw almost twenty one thousand dollars and then a year later they sent us a letter and said hey we overpaid you and you need to refund to us $1,058, or $10,058. would have been $1,058, I'd probably paid it. But they said $10,058. We couldn't do it. So, uh, as a result, it, well, I just left it, didn't think no more about it. About a year ago, they hit me up on my Social Security for uh, $53 a month coming out of my Social Security. They couldn't take no more than that because it would have knocked me down below $750 a month that I was getting. So they took, I was getting, I had eight, it was 808 what I was getting, and then they started taking 53, so I get $750 a month. Now, when all this COVID stuff come up and the, and the stimulus things and everything, I never got any of it. So I'm assuming FEMA is taking it. I never got any of it. And I don't think I'll get this 1400 You be the uh, comments, please. Let me know what you think. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. 
anyway tell me what you think i'll see you in the next video